All right, everybody, I've been out at the beach for probably like 10 or 15 minutes now. I got some assorted pieces of scrap, some aluminum foil. I got one of these bad boys, a tent stake, but I just got my first promising signal and I see it right on the surface. I actually see two things right on the surface. Check out the signal on this bad boy. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but right on top, I see a two piece, man. Rarely gets this spicy out here at the beach. <laughs> two piece quarter action right there, nothing too crazy, but yeah, much better than uh, pull tabs and aluminum foils, huh? So, oh, okay, we might even have a three piece, man. I didn't want to start you guys. Whoa, another one right there. Yeah, I tried to get like uh, a couple clips earlier, but everything kept coming out as uh, pull tabs or scrap foil. So this is at least a decent start, I would say. Three piece quarter action, it looks like right there. I got the old Nocta Legend. I got it in multi-wet right now. Even though I'm hunting in the dry sand, uh, when I was using MD, I was getting a little bit of like chatter, interference, whatever you really want to call it. But uh yeah, at the moment, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna find too much out here. It's been pretty slow. We did just get that little patch. This one sounds really funky. Might be a bottle cap or something. Just saw something green right here. Foil? No, look at that. That is not a bottle cap, man. Ultra funky one. Uh, that's actually kind of a shame, I think. I see like a little... A little piece of paper on there. I don't know if it has writing or what. Key, man, another key. I find a lot of assorted keys out here, but this one looks a little bit different. This one might have been somebody's house key or something. Maybe I'll let the guys know I found that just to be sure they didn't lose anything out here. But yeah, I'm just gonna be swinging kind of low and slow today. I have this, um, I just made a video on this thing. This is like a uh, lithium pow battery powered like fan. It's like a, a wireless fan, man. I got this thing off of Amazon for less than 20 bucks. It's just kind of a novelty, but check it out. There's first speed, second speed, and third speed. Just wear it right around your neck. So that's gonna maybe help me uh, stay a little, little bit cooler out here. But for right now, while I'm recording, I'm gonna shut them down. So, but I think I'm gonna turn you guys off for now, maybe, or I don't know. Something really small right here. Is that it? I think that might be it. Look at that. Little tiny piece of foil there. Almost sounds like I'm getting something else. Uh, probably not. So let's just keep going until we hit on another uh, decent sounding signal and I'll turn you guys back on. All right, just got us another pretty good signal here. It's a 4243. So, uh, whoa, there it is. Hello. I was just trying to guess what it was going to be. Maybe like a penny or something, but apparently not. Check him out. A little bug, man. That's what's up. VW 1300, I think it says on there. Volkswagen 2020. All right. <laughs> The hunt is, uh, it's getting along, man. It's getting along. Doing a little bit better than I thought. So stay optimistic. Keep on swinging. See if we can come up with something juicy, man. Pretty scrappy signal here. See if we can get him out. Is he accessible? I don't know. Yep. 27 out of the hole. A little bit deeper on that one, I'd say. A couple inches down. I think I'm gonna turn over my pinpointer to the other setting. Right now, listen to it. And now I wanna show you, I'm actually using the MI4 pinpointer. Let me turn them off real quick. I think you have to turn them on and hold them. And I think that activates the other set of tones now. Nope, I just messed up, <laughs> whoops. All right, anyways, let's stop messing around. I know I'll have to uh, work on that. I've done it a couple times before, but you can change it from like this squeaky pitch to like a beep, beep, beep tone, kind of like how your normal pinpointers give you, you know? So I just wanted to try something a little bit different, but we'll stick to the regular uh, buzz tone for now, man. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys like better, the like buzzing tone. I think it's pulse maybe. 
is what that like uh, high pitch sound is. And then the Garrett pinpointers, I forget what they call that. It's just like that beep beep, you know, the basic beep beep. <laughs> so let's keep going. And that's another scrappy one right here. I think it might be some iron actually. It's bouncing like 11 to 20, just doesn't sound good. I think I have another one next to it though, maybe two. 11, is that it? Huh. Just a little uh, piece of aluminum wrapper there, so he was definitely sounding sketchy. Pretty sure that was it. And yeah, we got another kind of irony one here too. That one might actually be a bottle cap. Yes, it was. All right, so I've had pretty good luck so far with the legend, like calling out bottle caps and stuff. I guess with most machines, you uh, once you learn them, you can do that. But uh, here's another just really faint one. Let's just see. Very faint, sitting on 10, 11 mostly. Probably gonna be some scrap. Is that it right there? Yep. So it's got the power, man. The power is available. Picked up that little guy, no problem. Let's keep going. Man, this is always cruel. Low target ID, but you see gold shining out of the sand. It's definitely gold, golden color. Some golden aluminum foil there, man. That's your modern day gold nugget for the most part out here at your local beaches. Little aluminum nugget. There's a nice high one, 46, 47. I don't know if you guys can even hear me anymore. I got this uh, fan on like high blast now. It's starting to get hot out here, man. Let's see what we got. Probably a coin. Yep, there's a dime, man, to add to our quarter collection. There's stuff out here though, so that's a good sign. I'm looking for the all elusive crusty ring or earring. Maybe even a bracelet, a pendant, or a necklace. <laughs> Any type of jewelry, man, I want. I'm going to turn this thing down for a second. Down in the wet sand now. Another, like, foily signal here. Ooh. A little bit of some scrappity scrap there. All right, another kind of promising signal here. 49.50. Nothing too, too crazy, but... A little bit more promising than my past ones have been. Gets a quarter, right? Yeah. All right, I think that's my fourth quarter of the day. So we made at least a buck out here today. That's honestly more than uh, usual. I usually don't get very much clad. The coins are plucked pretty dry out here at locations like these, man. Okay, I was digging that just to see what it was. It was reading up like iron. I guess that's actually what it is. Oh, not a little clip to something there. All right, so a quarter and a little clip in the same hole. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Kind of a low tone here, a little bit funky. Bouncy. Kind of sounds like iron. Wait a second. What is that? I see it right there, I think. That's something? Ah. Oh. You little bugger, man. I thought that was some jewelry. That little piece of aluminum was shaped just like a heart. It broke my heart. Yeah, I see something pink on the surface here. It's reading like 20. I don't know if it's jewelry. It just fell right through the scoop. Oh, come here, buddy. Is that it? Oh, that ain't even it. Dang it. No, I gotta get rid of this big old cup that's in my pouch. A lot of trash out here, man. It's hard to get in between the trash and get the treasure. This thing's tiny. I see it. Nope, it's not even jewelry. I don't know what the heck it is. It says something. It says Pura Vita on it. It's probably like a charm off of a purse or something. I don't think it's anything good, man. I really don't think so. All right, this is probably, if I had to say there was a most promising signal of the day, this would be it. It's a 38 on the target ID. I just don't really get too many of those out here, so let's see. 
Doesn't sound that good, but it's a little bit different, man. Please. Something a little bit different. Got it in our hand here. There it is. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I think it is probably like a bead, but nothing significant at all. It's like plating is coming off. Yeah, not the best, but I guess it's pretty good that the little legend could at least pick up on that little bead, but not exactly what I wanted. Interesting target under here. It's not really saying 100% that it's going to be a bottle cap, so... I don't know, kind of just scratchy, bouncy a little bit. 27 out of the hole now. <laughs> Might just be a old pole, man. Ye old pole, possibly. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah, no. Kind of a funky one under here. It's written a 42, but it sounds a little bit scratchy. I don't think that might be why. Another bottle cap to add to the collection. All right, let's take a little trek into the wilderness, shall we? I'm not sure how far this trail goes, really, but let's see. Yeah, now, in a perfect world, I would have a metal detector with me and I would be having a field day because these are like, uh, for me at least, this is a perfect condition for metal detecting. There's nobody around. It's just you, your metal detector in nature, man. But, like I said, this is a nature preserve, so I do believe here in Florida, I'm not sure about other states, but in nature preserves, no metal detectors are usually allowed. So you gotta respect the rules, man. You've got to respect the rules. There could be some history that went on back here though, you know? 